Hi everyone. So we are going to do a bit different live today because uh, I'm going to chat to Letizia from Milan, Jules Littergram, uh, who I did chat to earlier this year or last year. I can't remember. It might have been last year. Um, and I just was talking to her the other day and I said, oh, do you fancy doing another live? And she said, oh, hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm Victoria, the owner from Fry House. So if you haven't watched one of my lives before, hello, Linda. How are you? Um, I often, on a Friday, I call it Fry House Friday, chat to, um, oh, hi, she's here. Uh, someone and things, you know, anything to do with Instagram and selling jewellery um, and often showing pieces that uh, we've got for sale. Oh, here she is. Oh, you look glamorous. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. What about you? Yes, I'm really well. I've just got to show you this. <laughs> In the spirit, in the Great. spirit, we can dream together. Yeah, in the spirit of Italians, uh, well, and this isn't really your national drink, is it? Really, it's quite. Is it a new drink, Aperol? I have no idea. No, because <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. You can no, I just, I, I, I don't know. I, I never used to like it. Uh, Letizia, I, I always, and someone sort of, I went skiing, I think, somewhere in Italy, and they were all drinking it, because it's quite a strong taste, and I thought, oh, I'll have some of that, but um, obviously it's orange with um, sort of Prosecco or Champagne, I think, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Mm. So basically, you can choose it if you want, like, Aperol or Campari, and I always choose Campari, Camp so I don't know. Campari! I don't know a lot about Aperol. <laughs> oh, Campari, but Campari's a... a Campari, I think of that from my childhood in the uh, in the seventies, the Campari ad. Yeah, and but that... then they realized this. Uh, they they created this kind of uh, aperitivo with Campari, and I think now it's is again, you know, something. But you 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 know, I I think with all these drinks, it's like everything comes back, doesn't it? You know, <laughs> so I suppose it's a bit like jewelry as well. With fashions of jewelry, everything, you know, you find that every sort of 20, 30 years, it becomes fashionable again and everybody's Absolutely. drinking it. <laughs> but, um, um, you look really different from when I saw you last. Have you, did you have different colour yeah, hair? Yeah, yeah. I had, yeah. Uh, I had darker hair. Yeah, I love it. I, I really like it. Because I, when you came on then, I was like, Oh, have I got the right girl? Yes, it's me. <laughs> yes, I decided to make like brighter hair for uh, summer. Yeah, no. And oh, I, well, I'm like that. I, I basically have the same style, type of color, you know, but a variation of the same thing every three to six months. I think all of us girls, you, you just feel like you want to have something different, you know, either darker or lighter, but basically always the same um what's the weather like in milan today because it's it's crappy here yeah same here no sun yeah yeah but it's been like a couple of months there is no sun and temperature also is not as it used to be should be in spring because usually yeah here in spring it's like uh 22 degrees 24 degrees yeah and now it's like 15 17 and it's wow. bad there is no sun it's a it's so hard for to make pictures you know yeah no i, I yeah do you know what look it's your i i agree with that um you know like especially when you've got something with a really beautiful sparkly you know colored gem or even a good diamond and um i think i we as a team here in fry house we've all realized you know how much we rely on the sun and i think the sun really does help to sell jewelry you know you get it out you know because actually that's what most people want it for they want to be outside and they want something that looks great when they wear it out and about so you know we do need the sun um to, to show things off and also i don't know about you but i prefer the jewelry and a natural aesthetics absolutely then don't you <laughs> Yeah, yeah absolutely you know. absolutely i never use filters or anything because i think that i mean then you have to match the expectations and uh, you have to be true to the to the jewel itself so yeah absolutely. yeah so 
we guys we you know i as you I've, as some of you who follow uh, watch my lives every week you know i always say that i'll i'll plan my questions and and chat a bit with my friends before they come up and uh letizia has said she's got some really exciting new pieces to show us um, I hope it will and, be oh no because no, i have to say you your i only ask people to come on and chat with me that are, a if i've met them in real life and i know they're really nice and i get on with them so we just can chat forever and also b if i just see their jewelry and i think that they've just got the best they've got amazing jewelry and 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 you are so knowledgeable and you you have a beautiful you know anything you put up and it's always beautifully presented and um you you know and sometimes instagram i think we it, it's got so big now hasn't it there's so many people on it um it's hard isn't it to sort of get get yourself seen get yourself shown and sometimes when i see something that i think oh that is a museum that is just incredible which is what you have not and museum style <laughs> yes I, i'm not at the museum level but I, yeah i try to make a selection that reflects uh what i would wear yeah well, I'm, I, I, you know, whenever I see, you know, I'll always, and, and it's annoying because sometimes I don't see because Instagram decides sometimes, doesn't it, that for some reason, you know, something got, drops in my head and I think, oh, I haven't seen them for a while. Yeah. So I have to literally go and dig the dealer out or the account out and go through and which I do um, and I'll like sort of their last 10 posts because I feel like, oh my God, I haven't been like, you know, because there are, I like to support everyone, you know, in this community and if they have beautiful things as you do. Um, but you, you had, I just want to, I know I want to see what you've got Letizia, but I just wanted to say you had that fantastic um, calendar, um, perpetual calendar, didn't yeah, you? I, I pendant. It because it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know, I know, but I just, I remember saying, I just thought, I've never seen, and you said about a museum piece, that was a museum yeah, piece. That, that, that was good. Yeah. That was, but it's like once in a lifetime time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yes, that was good, and I was so excited, um, and it flew off, yes, of course. Yeah, well, I, I think these, these super rare things, um, you know, I mean, when we get them, I'd love to keep them, but I mean, obviously, I'm a dealer, you're a dealer, and we can't keep everything. But it's always just nice to have them in your hand, isn't it? And just own yeah. own the things and educate yourself um, about them. So can you, have you got anything in front of you? Can we see what you've got? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Get the treasures out. So it's something, uh, it's something new that I wanted to show today because you, sh you told me it's that I could show something. Of so course. I brought the of course. three pieces that are like back foiled pink Georgian and it's everything I love. So this is a pendant. <gasps> oh my goodness. Can you hold it up higher? Cause I can't, I can't see it Letizia cause of all the, um, everybody's, I can just see a load of names. Uh, yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. So that's foiled topaz, is it? It's rock crystal. Oh, it's rock crystal. Ah, oh, I've had that before where I've actually thought something was topaz and it's ended up being rock crystal, but still fantastic. Yeah. And topaz what's it like has, on the back? It's like, it's deeper. Of yeah. course, here you can see that it's back foiled pink. Yeah. And I think it used to be uh, an earring, a lonely earring. Yes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, now it's a pendant and it's yeah. silver and and it's perfect. The, the, the dome back. Yeah, and it's perfect. So how how old would you well, how old would you date that? So I it's definitely Georgian and yeah. I think it's like beginning of nineteenth century. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, you can um, wear. yeah, I was just gonna say if you put if you stand if you can show uh, everybody what it looks like on, I mean that is and I mean it's so clever because if it was an earring. I know sometimes people do say to me, oh, I don't like it when things uh, have been changed. But, you know, unfortunately, often earrings especially get lost, <laughs> don't they? Or they, they can, I think sometimes families, when you get two sisters, the yeah, earrings... They used to split. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible, but yes, they used to split. And unfortunately, yes, this was all alone. So, yeah. But I love the 
hue that sort of subtle uh, rose yeah. petal color do you know what i mean that that really is uh, and and of course guys that's foiled um and they're domed back so the way that it's refracting with the crystal um it really is uh, a pretty pretty thing so come on how much is that so the the three pieces that i'm going to show you today that i that are they are all priced under 500 euros oh my god <laughs> it's like that is incredible that you, well that is not going to be there long. <laughs> that is not going to that is uh, if that how i mean obviously plus shipping let it because that's such a good price that is beautiful come on guys <laughs> someone's got to buy that because that is that that is so reasonable uh, for a piece of antique jewelry yeah. you know when i when i have uh, nice deals i tend to to give nice deals yeah <laughs> and there are the earrings too oh my goodness yeah, they, 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 so good. yeah i can see those oh and those are fabulous too and the, let's, they've got the original backs have they so Something has been added because I don't think this is period. Oh, yes. You know? yeah. But yeah. it's for safety. But the yeah, so the it works, works well. They, they will sit well in the ear, the way that those um, with the little hook under bit yeah. here. But they're great because they're actually not super, super fancy. So, you, you know, you could just wear them with a T-shirt and jeans. And uh, don't they look lovely with your hair? Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, how much are those? Letizia. They are all under 500. I think this is the the, the most expensive one. I, see, I think this is 500. Yeah. And yeah. the pendant was like 400. Oh. And oh, guys, are... come on. You've got. You, uh, they, honestly, I'm, 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 if not, I'm going to be buying them. <laughs> I know, but they're, like, they're I thought you know, it's so, they're so cool and you can have them they are. for summer and make a little gift before yeah. holiday. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that's great. Because it just shows you that actually antique jewellery, you know, you can buy incredible pieces and you really don't have to pay a small mortgage to buy these things. And this is why I've invited Letizia to come on and chat to me, because I know that she has beautiful things. They're not crazy prices, um, you know, And but I, I think it's it's just knowing that who you buy from and who you trust. Don't you find that, um, Letizia, with who you buy from? Yeah. It's 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 about trust a lot of it, isn't it? Yes, um, of course. Of course. But, especially in, on Instagram. I mean, if yeah. you... It, it, we are not like... If you find us on Instagram, even if we have physical shops... I don't have a physical shop, but even if you have a physical shop or something, I mean, you have to be credible and you have to be um, super trusty for, yeah. for people. Otherwise, yeah. it's very hard. I understand when people are scared to buy on Instagram because and at the beginning and also now because yeah. there are so many new Oh, I, I think now it's probably worse for scammers. <laughs> Even worse things. Yeah, than the than the beginning. And it's it's scary, you know, for, for all of us. I mean, um I check my outbox every now and again and it's just constantly porn uh messages coming through i mean how they get to me i don't know but i just delete them all but you know i mean it's just it's just awful now uh, you know that the world is uh quite scary and, so, and sometimes i feel like with instagram you know this is why i i i hope that doing these lives like we're doing and you because i want to talk to you about that because you do them as well don't you um i think it's really good uh, you know just to show our community, you know, that we all talk to each other and keep communicating because um, that's that's where, you know, it'll keep everybody aware of what's going on and any potential, you know, sort of scams going on or anything like that, you know. I'm just going to take another sip of my apparel and pretend I'm in Milan with you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, on the other side, of course, uh, I mean, these are priced well. Yeah. But that we have to value you know stuff because we don't just have to throw things on the market just not giving the right value so yeah of course i do give the right value but sometimes when you have like you know silver is not gold rock crystal is not pink topaz yeah so i think it's right to give the right market price yeah yeah you're yeah what you're saying is uh you know guys if that was 
it, those pieces Letizia has got there, if they were pink topaz, we would be talking on a different level of price. But on the same breath, I think personally, I don't even care that they're foiled rock yeah. crystal. I mean, I still value rock crystal anyway highly. Um, I mean, it's a, a you know beautiful stone, and it's got a lot of I think energies, almost healing natural energies about it. Rock crystal. It always makes me feel calm. I don't know, you know how all gemstones don't they? They have yeah. properties about them. Every every gem has properties and can like, yeah. make you feel like special energetic vibes and help yeah. you through some specific things. And definitely rock crystal that it's all transparent. It's I don't know, it gives me like um powerful nature vibes. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I, I'm I'm always drawn. The stones that I'm drawn to, and I know we all have gemstones that we should have according to when we were born yeah um and i'm june i'm a cancerian so i think my birthstone is pearl and moonstone uh and i do like moonstone yeah I'm also um but i i'm i'm not governed by that you know i i've been dealing in jewelry for so long i just go with what I'm drawn to. I'm always drawn to aquamarine because I feel like the water. I'm always drawn to rock crystal. Um, those are the gemstones that, and, and obviously I love diamonds, but no, d diamonds don't, you know, that's not the be all. And funny enough, even though I sell diamonds, <laughs> it's not the be all and end all to me. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you what else, uh, Letizia, the cornflower, cornflower sapphire. Mm. A sapphire. <laughs> I just really love I love rainbow moonstones, but it's really hard to find them. Yes. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, no. I was going to say, I don't know if I've even ever owned anything. Uh, Not me neither. Ra no. Rainbow I got moonstone. something one time, once from Alice from Forage Antics. Yes. Forage Antics. Alice, I love Alice. I and, see her at Kempton. And yes. Uh, it got um, rubbed in the post. Oh. It was no. a moonstone, um, a rainbow moonstone. It was a marriage piece. It was a rainbow yeah. moonstone with a um, like chase floral Georgian band. It was oh. gorgeous, but unfortunately it's gone. Well, <laughs> I, I tell you the story behind what I believe with that is sometimes I just feel like things have, it. May, you never know, it may come back to you somehow, but also uh, I think things that tend to go where they want to go um, with jewels. I had something very, I mean, I, I, we probably haven't got time to go into it now, but I, I had something strange happen to me last weekend with something um, that had taken a while to sell. Uh, funny enough, it was a, a charm bracelet with a load of intaglios and cameos. And, uh, they were early and interesting. And it had been, I think probably in my intuition, was that it I was owned by an Italian lady. I mean, the fact that obviously the carved cameos, that some of them were coral, black opal, you know, I felt that they'd come from maybe Naples or somewhere like that. And I had a lot of interest in it. Um, but anyway, eventually um, I did sell it on Saturday to a lady, but I had another dealer desperate for it, but he wanted a couple of the, he wanted to take a couple of the intaglios off of it rather than buying it as a whole piece. Um, uh, anyway, in the end, this American lady came along and she bought it as a whole. And my, my motto of this story is I, I was nearly going to split the two pieces off of it, but it was just fate that she came along and saw me talking about it in my hand and said, oh my God, I've got to, how much is that race? I've got to have it. Uh, and she was a lovely lady and she told me about the story, how she lost her dog and this, that and the other. <laughs> she, she was in London, um, an American tourist, but she felt that that bracelet, and I really truly believe that bracelet chose her. And that was, it's just a crazy story how sometimes jewelry, that's what I'm saying to you, your piece may turn up because it, it has a way of finding its place, you know? The yeah. energies that things have. Everything has energy, doesn't it? It's, it's a, that's not a myth that's a scientific fact that all things that we have even us we're all made of you know <laughs> yeah no you know so um you know the jewelry must be the same so sorry i'm sidetracking the tits yeah what's your third piece 
these earrings peachy base let's have a look goodness aren't they pretty so are, are those topaz golden topaz lovely dome it's bags. paste oh they're paste they're paste i didn't hear what you said so they're paste but what a gorgeous color as you said they're you know they're like golden topaz the peach color yeah which is so pretty and how much are those these are 390 oh can, um can you show everyone all three things is it possible to yep. put them all up yeah with, with with something white behind them because come on guys people have got to buy these because these are <laughs> I, I think I, we're so lucky you're showing us these now let me see if i can is there a book or something <laughs> <laughs> oh prince Saint harry, harry. We'll i started listening to that on the on audio but i got a bit bored of it have you no. read it <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, it's been there since like one year or something yeah one yeah oh well maybe maybe it can go to a charity shop <laughs> <laughs> yeah so here the first piece oh that uh, that's that that pendant is my favorite i mean the earrings is fabulous too but i love that yeah also I you can love that. slide it into a hood yeah and wear yeah. it yeah. yeah 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 cool. and these oh look my friend meep she's watching so these are gorgeous guys uh georgian foiled rock crystal um from the early part of uh the 19th century what are they set in yeah. silver I, yeah, and silver, now th but there are these aren't english are they what are these these are do you think they're no, italian they're... iberian yeah but so 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 pretty. Do they have paste around the edge as well? They have uh, gold accents. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they really are smashing, and they're a nice size. And um, they're not. I gather they're not too heavy for the eggs. Um, no. sometimes these Iberian earrings I've bought before when I've been in Italy. I've you know paid a lot of money sometimes for them and then I've gone to put them you know in my ear and thought my god how can anyone wear them they're actually so heavy yeah, have you seen that like Portuguese and Italian ones yes they heavy yeah. because they're also a bit bigger but the yeah. French and the English ones they're really wearable yeah yeah so let me put the other one let's see if I can manage you're doing that i'm making the most of my drink <laughs> so these are the peachy ones oh look and these are the pink ones yeah i love that how you're modeling them but yeah that looks gorgeous so guys um tell us the price again because we're gonna I'm, i want you to sell these before the end of the day <laughs> i hope so so these are 395 if i'm not wrong these are 500 and the pendant is 400 such good pricing guys oh that that pen so someone i mean i i wouldn't mind that you know someone's going to buy the pendant and the earrings because i i just think especially the you know the rose cut yeah um, they work together the rock yeah. crystals yeah because i think they they pair so well they yeah. really pair so well so t tell me letizia what have you got planned for the summer have you because I know Italy always shuts down, you know, because having gone there for many years. It's done. Um, oh, the, the final, at least, like, there are always little markets in every region. And whenever I go during the holidays, even if I have kids, husband, I don't care. And I always check all the markets, but I usually never find, like, exciting stuff. No. But the big ones... Um, one of the biggest here in the city it was done end of may yeah and um, tell me no, no, that, no. end um, of end of april yeah and is that is that by the navilia is that the is is it on a sunday by the navilia the, the biggest one in milan oh so the market it, it, the big one where are navigli so uh that one is every last sunday of the month so it's every, yeah. every month but I am not going there anymore. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not going so there anymore. Isn't any All good. the people <laughs> that are there, I know them, and I already made deals with them. Yeah, so you don't 
need to, like, you don't need to go there. Go there. Yeah. Uh, but there are like the biggest one where there are people that are not coming from Milan, but are coming also from other regions and also from outside of Italy. There is one called Brocante, and and it's it's over. It's it's already it's over. And the next it would be in October. Yeah. So are you? Will you come to Parma? Yes, That's what I was of course. Going to ask you. Of course. But so Parma, we will have to catch up there because uh, it's, you know everyone, and it's it's so interesting. Yeah. Well, it's. I mean, it's massive there, isn't it? And you never know, you never know what you're going to see there. And I mean, I always, I love the fashion and the interiors and the art. And I mean, it's just, it's a real eclectic mix of so many different things. I mean, often there's a lot of repro and things in there that you have to watch out for. Um, but, you know, I think we've, you know, we've been going there long enough now. You just, you sort of know where to look. And we know a lot of the dealers, don't we? So hopefully, you know, you, you know who you yeah. can trust. But um, what, what about going to um, America? Do you ever fancy going to New York or so anything? It's, it's funny because most of my, like the majority, 90% of my America. clients are in the US, but I, yeah. I've never been there just for my honeymoon and that's it. Oh, no, I'm oh. not a traveler. No. I'm doing everything online. And because I decided to start this job to stay more with my family, more with the yeah. kids. And so I didn't want to travel anymore because I used to travel a lot. I used to work for a pharmaceutical company and I used to like travel five days, some seven days. And I really just didn't want to do that in, anymore. Even if it's for treasure hunting, I prefer to um, treasure hunt online. Yeah. There, yeah. there are well, I... a lot of auctions like, yeah. Hundreds. Well, I actually think that this is what's happened now. And, you know, uh, I hope that the antique fairs will all still run because for me, I, I, there's nothing more. I mean, I don't necessarily always buy much at them, but there's nothing like getting up early, walking around yeah, and having I that anticipation. That. But yeah. Uh, four or five times <laughs> in a year. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really yeah. exciting. And I love that um, because you meet people, you can, build uh, relationships and yeah and also looking at jewels like in person is something else but what happens to me uh since i'm really like used to uh, sorry there is somebody like, go on gardening okay <laughs> uh, so, um so since i'm really used to buy online and i have all the time of the world you know it's 3 a.m., girls are sleeping, and I'm there in front of my mobile, and I check all the pictures in front, on the back, <laughs> all yeah. the small flows. I can see everything. Yeah. I'm really used to that. But when I go treasure hunting in person, I'm like, I'm too emotional. I love the piece, and I, I just, oh, I really, really want it. I, I really, and I really go back, relate to that. Yeah. And then I go I think I, you can get carried away. Eyes that are flows, yeah. you know. And yeah, yeah. I think you can get. Well, this is what this jewelry does to us all, you know. I mean, it does you uh, that sort of thing in you, and I, I can have that. Well, I'm like, I've got to have that. I must have that. And through my career, I've had a few times where I've been in auction, and I felt, you know, where it's something very unusual, very hard to price, maybe not really seen anything else like it, and I've just thought. I want it. But the dangerous thing is, guys, when you feel like that and somebody else feels like that, <laughs> yeah. you can pay the world record price and there won't be anyone else to pay the world record price. So it can be extremely dangerous, can't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's why I'm, when, I, when I'm auctioning, I just... I decide prices before starting yeah. and it's like a strict no go beyond yeah. that point because otherwise yeah. yes if you really really want it you, you go yeah and I think don't get me wrong because this is like there is the exception to the rule where you see something so unbelievably exceptional completely one of a kind unique piece that 
it's very important and you're not likely to see again then the price i don't know sometimes it's difficult to to even price you know to know the price uh and and i've had things where i thought oh this could be worth ten thousand and you know the estimate or the auction estimate might be 1500 to 2000 and i think well i think it's worth a lot more than that like you know maybe 10 and i've sat there and watched it and it's flown past 10 <laughs> and fetched 30 or 40 you know and so um but it's all experience it's all knowledge it's all learning isn't it you know for us when you see these things so i think even when we have things like that happen to us just keep it in the bank because you never know you know that something like that might be walking along and you get to buy it you know you you just don't know do you Letizia? it's yeah, it's uh, it's, uh, it's absolutely true absolutely tell us about now what i wanted to ask you uh is your jewelry secret circle ah. how what's how did that come about can you share that with us <clears throat> yes of course so the secret circle um it's something it's an idea that i had since i started because when i started making this business i started selling my own um my own collection start yeah. buy stock for for, for the shops and so i at you know, we always keep telling people that these are investments and they we do. They can <laughs> and it's true yeah. because it's true. And they yeah. can tell. But I know that when you don't like a normal person that wants to resell something and goes uh, to the jewelry shop around the corner that knows anything about antics will probably get a very low evaluation because sometimes yeah. you buy not because it's 22 karat gold but because it's a uh, very rare or it's a specific historical piece and so on and also when you don't when this is not your job and you don't know the right channels you don't have an audience it's very difficult to resell so i thought that maybe i could try because i i, I don't have like a big, big amount of followers but i could try and help people um just um just to to make things going around no, <laughs> that, that's why well, I, it's really good i mean it, it is this this is why i'm doing this this is why i do this you know and whoever wants to chat come on and chat to me um because i think you know in a, in some way i suppose it's similar to a podcast um where you know you get two people that this is their sort of specialists i never call myself an expert i don't like that word i just feel like I, I i don't feel like i am i just feel like i'm learning all the time and i don't feel i'm good enough for that word <laughs> i don't know why but anyway that's just my thing um and i feel like we can all share and share it and help each other along the way and it's like a step ladder where we're all lifting each other up and do you know in life and i really strongly firmly believe this you know i have had people over the way say to me why do you do that victoria you you know you you know you've got your followers and you've built that up why why would you share and do so and i think i don't when someone says that to me i almost feel like i don't like them anymore because i feel um <laughs> that's been my whole ethos my whole life is you know how would we evolve as a human race if nobody shared or taught anyone or helped anyone or shared their what they've learned i mean what sort of society would we be in i don't know that's just me no, no how i think i mean for me it's absolutely the same yeah i mean it's in every aspect as you say it's not just this one it's like in every aspect of our life i think that sharing is caring really yes i mean it's not just it's a cliche, but it, yeah, or, yeah. It's it's reality for me. This is something, and and that's why I was I really wanted to help, trying people, uh, trying to help people. So basically, what what happens is that uh, I have a spot, two spots every Sunday, but I think I'm going to stop for summer and then starting again. And so yeah, well, you have to have a life, don't you? <laughs> you know, of course. Yeah, because it's a it's some kind of. Uh, workload you know because yeah, of course. Uh, people just reach out to me they send me like tons of pictures of everything they want to sell we make a, a selection trying to understand you know because sometimes um i understand that um that people want to 
get the same money they paid at least and but sometimes they paid something that was like um very fashionable but it's not anymore yeah. in, in this moment so i try to make a selection of what they can have the most of it you know um and then i just i get all the pictures i make all the a lot of work like, that's a lot of work for you yeah you know but it's it's super cool yeah. also because i have the chance i mean to see a lot of things also if i'm interested i mean it's it's super interesting and also the um, the different thing is that they're not uh only um happy to sell they're also happy to swap that yeah i think it's super cool <laughs> because so i, that, I love yeah, so that's a really stuff. clever thing so you're putting up things people want to sell and putting them in touch with your with your followers within your circle the jewelry circle and instagram and then also other people if they want to swap and actually you know i think sometimes people like to do that they like to have a swap um, love to swap <laughs> yeah 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 um you know it's, it's funny uh, saying that over the years there's uh, a lot of my friends from italy dealers from milan florence uh in or, or so many places I've gone to over the years and um, I often used to do swaps and sometimes I don't know swaps feel better than even selling things Absolutely. sometimes you um, because again you give the piece a new life and often they're the first thing I sell yeah Letizia, when I've done I a mean, swap I put it out and swap usually swap. both persons are like super excited they have something new they know yeah what they're leaving is is going to someone that will love the piece and uh you spend no money because it's just a swap <laughs> so, yeah yeah so I, but i think it, i think it works well for both people so um when do you when do you do your jewelry cir circle posts come on promote it tell, tell us so we can it's all watch every and join sunday. in it's every sunday and i usually put yeah like at 6 p.m ct time that it's something like in the morning for us and 5 uh, p.m. for BST, yeah. your time zone. Yeah. Um, but every Sunday, I mean, if you, if they check on Monday morning, they will they will find it. Every Sunday, okay. spots and I have uh, they can reach out to me if they want spots. They can check all the posts if there is something they like or they want to swap or. I don't know what's happened to me. Are you black and white? I'm black and no, white. No, I think you <laughs> put the filter or something. <laughs> but but it's it's cool. How do I change it? Oh my god! There is like a little smiling face. <gasps> oh. <laughs> How funny! <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what I'd done. I must have tapped that by mistake. So, um, this, are you doing it this Sunday, Letizia? Yes, I'm doing it, okay. doing it this Sunday. Okay. I'll, it will I'll, be this I'll... Sunday, next Sunday still. And, um, and then I will go back to September. So, um, can I, can I promote it for you tomorrow just to remind people yes. to watch out for you? Um, and, um, will you be doing that live? No, I usually make a post. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll tell people to watch out for that. Because I think that's it's such a good idea, and everybody should should look out for that. Um, one one thing we're going to round because we've already been on nearly half an hour. But I was going to say to you before we go, and, and it's something that's sort of very prevalent at the moment, and I see everybody's talking about it on Instagram. Is AI? What is going on there with these posts? Have you seen these superimposed backgrounds, and you can put your picture in? Um, and I actually did it because I thought, oh, what's that? And I did it and I put a picture of our shop and shared it on my stories. And my views on my stories um, normally get between 300 to 500 views. Sometimes it can be less, sometimes it can be more. It depends what, what time of the day and who's on. Well, this AI post I put up and within five, five six hours, it had over 3,000 views. Yeah. I mean, they're boosting they're boosting this this kind i mean of not that i'm trying to show off or say i don't think anything i achieved anything from it <laughs> <laughs> you know but i just thought what what's that about you know well but that's not because of ai that's because every time instagram is proposing something like um 
these uh, these images where it's your turn that you you just push the button and you put yes. your picture yes. or a any other any other feature they add to the app if you use it like in the first month or so you were boosted by by the algorithm yeah so it's not about ai's but it's just because it's a new feature yeah. that they're looking yeah. and, and that's yeah yeah but for well, for ai i don't know you know like everything that's new you can use it well or you can use it for the good or for the bad yeah so yeah personally um i i always make my own backgrounds yeah i i used once because i really really couldn't wear one pair of earrings <laughs> and <laughs> i used once a fake like ear and i put the earring on top and and i used that yeah but usually as you said before at the beginning of our discussion it's better always to make pictures of natural yeah. jewels with no yeah, I, I, no I, other overstructures because yeah. i don't think it's it's fair but if you use it like a super powered uh, photo editing it's fine i mean there is nothing wrong about it yeah what yeah. really struck me is that i um i used to repost like um um these uh, wildflowers fields yeah you know i i love flowers and everything. i've i've seen that I, I love that i know you do yeah. that and, and i thought of you whenever i saw that it made me think of you and i fit it was a nice thing yeah a happy thing. but i yeah. realized that a few of them are not real fields so i now i always check and i always make sure they're always real fields because yeah. i like the fact that you show like um a landscape that it's not natural that's not me you know like conceptually yeah. there is nothing wrong yeah yeah but it's not me but yeah that's it i don't know i i don't think we have seen the worst of it it's just the beginning oh, and... I, do you know i couldn't i couldn't agree with you more um it really scares me if i'm honest about it all you know, and I think the governments aren't sort of even really making us aware of what what it's capable of and what's coming. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know. I wonder one day if all the mobile technology will all crash. It will all get so clever and in the end be so dangerous that we'll have to go back to writing a check out and going to the bank and paying the check in. And I would you know, be happy of that. Yeah, you you know how how everything used to be. Um, and where you would just have a normal telephone and make a call <laughs> you, you know instead of messaging and i think i think it could go like that because it, it's almost sort of got too clever for its own good and just gone absolutely crazy you know the only but um, the bad side is that you're super lucky because you have a physical shop and i don't <laughs> yeah no i i know i mean um my my shop I, I, if ever you came to england I, I would love you to come and stay, come here to battle and come to my shop. I really would. So, so you'd always be most welcome with your family to come here, Letizia. So you'd love battle. So, um, you know, I know you don't, you say you don't really like traveling much, but, um, you know, always, well, maybe we can talk when you're at Palmer, but um, you, you would be most welcome. And I know that you love history. Uh, and this county where our shop is based is so rich in, in historic in history and beautiful buildings and parks and places to visit and you don't even need to spend money a lot of them are free um you know uh, even in london um i went to uh i had some friends over from america a month or so ago and we went and visited the jewelry department at vna and um I, you know which is free it's free and it was amazing i mean it you know uh, and not just the jewelry we had a look at um the uh, at some of the digital art and um in the art and photography and you know all the cameras they've got and um and even just walking between different departments just the, the mosaics on the ceilings the floors the tiles even the cafe it's like the ceiling is like something else so and again you know you it's free you can go there you have to pay obviously if you're visiting an exhibition 
but um you know it's just something special to see but again in italy i mean god you're going to milan you only need to, to go in the, all your beautiful churches and you're likely to see an alfresco by uh, picasso or something aren't you or you know some uh, monet or something you know um you know something really important um in some of your beautiful churches yeah it's true there is a lot there is a lot to see here but i am very attracted by uh england and the bridgerton world yeah <laughs> or the bridgerton <laughs> victorian villas and yeah i, I would love to yeah. leave one of I, I think that's the link that Italians and English have, because I always feel that connection myself with Italy. Uh, and I, I know so many people love to come to Italy from England on holiday. And obviously you love England. And I feel we're, we're quite, we, we really embrace our history, don't we? And, um, that's you know, um, and I also, what I love about uh, Italy, how you all have such strong family values um you know and also the food the food <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh is is gotta be the the you know the, the biggest part. i just you know everything and fashion of course everything is so important attention to detail is um in, in incredible and uh you know if milan i mean every, every big city in italy there's something special to see um even do you know there was something i'm going to go in a minute because i'm sure you need to get for your little girls but there was uh, a series i might send you the link well you probably don't need to see it because you live in milan already but they played uh where they had a celebrity and he was spending 24 hours in milan uh going around seeing all the different things and i've been to milan so many times i can't remember but always for business so i never really you know went as a tourist and I thought to myself, actually, he went to the Navilia, the area, and I thought how pretty it was there, you know. So I thought, my God, I've, there's so much I've missed in Milan. You know, Next I've seen time the you Duomo. Have, you come with me. Yeah. You know, I've seen the Duomo and down Via Spiga, you know, all those beautiful shops where the red carpet is. Um, but yeah, no, I need, yeah, I need, I need to go with you. Yeah. And you need to Very show me the sights. More than the touristic path yeah definitely well um i'm gonna you know thank you so much this is i've really enjoyed this it's been slightly different to my normal live and i felt it's it's quite relaxed you know with just like a couple of friends talking with all these other people um <laughs> listening in but it's been re really fun um yes. will you have a lovely summer letizia thank you so much for joining me thank you um, for inviting me I'm going to look out Sunday for the jewellery circle and uh, come on, everyone, you need to buy. Just show the pieces before you go again. I'm really plugging these. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to help. Oh, so. well, no, because I, they're fantastic pieces. So, you know, they, they don't need plugging. They're going to go anyway because the price point is so good. These are priced so well. Uh, Letizia has got these. Uh, so those are those are the rock crystal yeah, earrings are those? Paste, yeah the peachy paste. paste sorry they're peachy paste. peachy paste and then she's got some pink foiled rock crystal earrings which are gorgeous and then my most favorite piece of the day has to be da -da, that pendant i mean look at that color that all of those they're bridgerton they're all bridget i mean you know Bridgerton's obviously a made-up TV <laughs> program. These are beautiful original antique earrings, but uh, you know pieces. But they they are superb. Uh, do you know what that, that pendant would look beautiful on a ribbon? It's true. Hi. On a velvet, also. Yeah. 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 On, on a on a lovely rose pink or or sort of burgundy ribbon, because I think burgundy and rose pink looks quite good. You know, yeah. a deep deep red yeah. would look deep. fantastic. Right. It's gorgeous. gorgeous absolutely gorgeous come on guys you need to dm letizia and bye 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 <laughs> <laughs> um i'm gonna let you, you go i'm gonna say cheers cheers uh and uh have a fantastic summer my friend uh and i'm going to see you in parma in september yeah. and we'll have a drink and, and we'll have a good catch up
and uh, you have a lovely day and go and get your little girls. Thank you. I'm going to um, knock you off now. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. Oh, she was so sweet, wasn't she? Let me just look. I've nearly finished this. Mm. My apparel spritz while talking to Letizia from uh, Milan. I hope you enjoy that. And uh, if any of you like some of the pieces that Letizia was showing, they're like uh, a few newbies that have just come in and they are really well priced. Um, all of them, the, the two sets of earrings and the, the drop, um, the pink rock crystal drop was gorgeous. So I think she said under 500 euros. So, you know, come on guys, you've got to message her. Those won't hang around for long. So, um, and she is very trustworthy, lovely, lovely lady. If you're not following her already, you should be following her account. As I said, she's just set up this jewelry circle which she does on Sunday posts. So it might be worth uh, having a look at that. Uh, thank you, thank you. So I'm uh, gonna say goodbye now. Um, yeah, and hopefully uh, next week we will have another exciting guest. I've got some uh, fabulous people to chat to during the summer. Uh, we might not be doing it every week. It just depends what suits, you know, what suits me. Because some, some Fridays I'm, I don't have time to do the live. But um, as long as you all keep coming and enjoying, I'm going to keep doing them. Because uh, I think uh, it's a really positive thing for the jewellery community. So I'm going to say lots of love and happy Friday, everyone. Take care of yourselves. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye.